We're a divided nation, all right? There's no two ways about it. I mean, I do try and see the other side's argument, but me, I'm a traditionalist. I, I, I'm brown sauce on my brekkie or nothing at all. I mean, I'll just about agree to disagree with them that like tomato sauce, but them that like barbecue sauce. Don't get me started. I'm going to what? I'm starving. Well, can we do this another time? I'm up against it today. We can't you spend half an hour. Where's little Tyrone? He's one of them barbecue sauce types, you know, smothering it all over his perfectly decent sausages and eggs. He never did that before he met that Belina. I've got to go on a call out. What about your van? Thanks for getting me a drink. Well, I didn't know what you wanted. Did you get any responses? One of your chef mates must need a job. I had a lack of replies now, although Zahir did offer. He's a car salesman. He probably thinks a Michelin star is a type of tyre. <laughs> you got a job going? Well, my services might be available, but I don't come cheap, mind. We're looking for someone with experience, sorry. Since when was pouring curry sauce over chips not experience? And I'll have you know, plenty of people have been more than happy to wrap the lips around my booner. <laughs> I just threw up in my mouth a little. Uh, just a cup of tea when you've got a moment. Yeah, well, you'll have to wait a bit. I need to go upstairs and get some more balms. If it was between her and Naveed, I'd choose Naveed. I still can't believe you fired him. Oh, it was moonlighting. Grand deserves more loyalty than that. No, what Grand deserves is an easy life. No unnecessary stress. You should have consulted us before making such a big decision. We'll find someone else and make that money back. I'm here now. It isn't all on you. Well, good. We're going to need you to prep vegetables. I'm a chef, not a sous chef. Uh, Grand's cooking. I'm front of the house. And you'll be peeling, slicing and dicing whatever I tell you to. Whatever you say, boss. It's in. The review is in. Hi, Fred. Oh. Oh. Sorry to startle you. This was on the floor. I'm not sure whether to put it back up or throw it away. Yes, sometimes it's hard to know what to do for the best. Uh, with regard to supporting Nina, that is. But, uh, but I am happy to say I think you're safe to discard that. We may have reached a positive turning point. Really? Yes, I, I, I've been trying to highlight the... Uh, positives of looking forward and concentrating on her own life. This campaign against Cory Bread, it, it's not healthy. I, I didn't think I was getting through. But it's, it's just a thought that he got away with it. That is understandable, of course, but uh, she was very upbeat this morning. She's even gone into town to pick up some supplies for her course. <laughs> uh, no pressing, but I think that might be a sign of progress. That's great news. Yes, well, we're not out of the woods yet, but her mind focused on the future will be a positive step in the right direction. All right, I'll, um, I'll throw this away then. <laughs> and, um, Asha, might I ask you for a favour? Close as I am to Nina, there is a limit to what you will talk to me about. Of course. Look, I'm here for her, always. I'll make sure she knows that. At least she liked the food. And if we'd actually had some customers, it'd be a great review. And serving homeless people made us sound generous. She said we had less atmosphere than a funeral parlour. People dine out for the experience. It takes more than good food to get them through the door. But we can build on this. Take the positives. And that's why you are in trouble. You're too passive. People take advantage. Debbie needs to pay for it. No, Zidane, going in all guns blazing will not help anyone. Put your thinking cap on. There's more than one way to pluck a chicken. Yeah, Gran's right. The last thing we need is a trade war with the bistro. All right, whatever you say. Apparently, I'm just the guy who chops the veg. Right, good work. Get to next class. I'll see you all next week. Max, have a word. Is everything all right? Yeah. I think you just broke the record for staring out the window looking at a tree the longest. Come on, you're doing really well in our last class. 
What's happened? Why do I need to know Shakespeare? It's stupid. It's about getting you to analyse text to figure out the meaning. If you are struggling, then maybe I could highlight some key words for you to look out for. Would that be useful? Doubt it. Come on, Max. I'm trying to help. Why bother? David cuts old men's hair for a living and Shona cleans tables in a cafe. Name me one job where I'll need to know what Romeo was banging on about. Thus I doth do one. Jack, I can't talk. No, I can't bring you kit. You'll have to skip PE or wear something of theirs. It's not my fault. I'm not the one who forgot to take it. Look, I've got to go. I'm on a call out. Apart from the typo in the second paragraph, this is really good. You think? Yeah. Yeah, this is you. Upbeat, witty, heartfelt, mature. You should be really, really pleased with it. I am, actually. And I can't believe I was going to copy someone else's. Just feel stupid now. Well, don't. Personal statements are hard. But they want to get to know you. And this does that. Well, thank you. I don't think I would have fully understood what they were after if it wasn't for your guidance. Happy to help. It's nice to feel useful for a change. Something the matter? No, not really, just... I got outsmarted by Max earlier. Couldn't think of the words to get through to him. I think he's struggling, but he doesn't want to admit it. Um, well, if you like, I could mentor him. We got the email about the school mentor scheme and I was considering it anyway. It would look good on my application. And there's no such thing as a selfless deed. I'm joking. It's a great idea, yeah. Could really bring Max along. And he'd be learning from the best. What about Pavesh? I was always impressed by his karai. Last I heard, he moved to Australia. And the special, who is going to make the marinade for the, for the mutton nihari without Naveed? Look, don't worry about it. I know the recipe. I've been watching him make it for ages. Clever girl. But I... I wish we didn't have to replace him. I know what he did was wrong, but we all make mistakes. Grant, this is our restaurant. If we both want him back, just call him. You know what? You are right. If we want him back, Zidane will just have to deal with it Bailout or no bailout. You leave Zidane to me. A few days of peeling spuds and he'll learn not to make any more big decisions without us. Right. I'll... I'll call Naveed and ask him back nicely. Just don't let him talk you into a pay rise. Hmm. What on earth is that noise? Oh, I don't know. I'm going to go get them to stop while you call Naveed. Think. Please tell me you haven't bought it. I wish. No, it's a rental. Remember our first one? Uh, my leg does. That clutch was stiffer <laughs> than a brick. You see? Happy memories. This is going to be fun. What are you up to? Trust me, yeah? Zidane, I ain't got time for this. Are you in or out, yes or no? Well, I'm in, but this better not have anything to do with starting a war with Debbie Webster. <sighs> my dear Badgie, it isn't about war, it's about respect. And she will start showing us some. Debbie's not going to like this. It was the smallest, nastiest little dog I've ever seen. And the owner, she had a face like a... like a spaniel. <laughs> anyway, as I walked past, this dog would not stop barking. So, she looks me. Right, dead in the eyes, and she says, oh, <laughs> he normally only barks at other dogs. Well, what does that make me? 
cheeky cow. Uh, she tried to make it sound like an apology, but her stuck-up spaniel face was really enjoying implying I was a dog. Uh, who implied that, and where do I find them to sort them out? Oh, back again, are we? I tried to stay away, but it was like gravity pulling me back. You're looking bright and colourful today, Daisy. Thank you. So, Isaac Newton, now gravity's got you back here. What you have in? Pine, please. Ah, well, you take a pew and Daisy will bring it over. Right, and why will Daisy be bringing it over? Because clearly he's here for you. He's hot. He's a no-brainer. I don't want a no-brainer. I like the men all intellectual now. Yeah, well, he might well be, but you're not going to find that out unless you go and chat to him, are you? So get over yourself and get me pain. Daniel said you'd like it. Like it? Oh, Sora, I don't even know where to begin. I am so proud of you. Can I have a copy? Yeah, keep that one. Fingers crossed it's enough to make them want me. Oh, be mad not to. How'd it go? Yeah, all done and sorted, finally. In that case, do you want to go to town, celebrate? Ooh, ooh yeah, great. What are we doing? Oh, we, we could go bowling. Oh, do you know what? I haven't done that in years. Yeah, we could all go bowling. <laughs> no, I'm just winding you up, Eddie. Oh, good. Not that I wouldn't enjoy it. Yeah, I, I, I'll leave you two to it. So, town then could actually go bowling. It's not a bad show. Yeah, I'd love to, but I have agreed to mentor Max Turner. You know, every little helps with my uni application. OK, yeah, no problem. You can come round later if you like. And Billy can put on the sound of music for the three of us to watch. Have a little sing along. Is is, is that a wind up as well? Mm-hmm. Summer. Summer. <laughs> so when you're not uh, loitering in boozers, what do you do with yourself? Uh, I'm an old soul, me. I like the quiet life. Good pine, occasional bit of rugby league, and I'm a happy man. Ah, so that's why you're fit. I mean, I mean, physically, you know, all the, all the rugby. <laughs> he looks fit, doesn't he, Daisy? Very healthy. Mm. Oh, Daisy, um, remind me later, you know, about that, uh, that night we were thinking about planning, the, uh, the couple's night. Yeah. It, it's just, it's a, it's a buy one, get one free drinks for anybody in a serious relationship. Well, oh, that comes me out. Oh, really? Oh, I would have, I would have thought you'd have been snapped up by now. Nope, still available to a good home. Well, then, do you know what? We will have to do a singles night, too. Yeah. In fact, we've, um... We just had some samples of beer sent through from the brewery. We could use it as a night to launch one of them. Sounds like a good night. Mm -hmm. Right, well, do you, uh... Do you fancy testing some out with us later? Help us pick which one? I won't say no to that. Huh? Will you both be there? Yeah, 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 me, you and, uh... And Daisy. Yeah, you'll have us all to yourself. Hello. You uh, still getting over that article last night? I'm just amazed you knew stuff that I didn't. Well, what can I say? I'm well read. Uh, we could have a kick about outside, and maybe you could try and read where my feet are going as I smash one past you. I, I, I would, but uh, you know it's beneath. Oh, you can't tell by my uh, athletic physique, but uh, more of an academic type. Oh yeah, yeah, you're a, a regular pinup. I've modelled. I've done a calendar and everything. So you won't want a sticky bun then? Oh, I'll have two, please. One's for Tracy. Yeah, but it's not though, is it? <laughs> okay, uh, for ten points, how many black managers are there in the Premier League? 
I don't know. All right, but if it makes it easier, how many have we had in its entire history? 20. <sighs> Nowhere near that. And some of them were only caretaker managers. Bango's my ambition of being a manager one day. You should write an article on it. I can do one better than that. Uh, this month's off is a 10% off mulled wine. Too soon for that. Mm. Go on. Ooh. 10% off sparkling red wine. Now, that's interesting. Would our delightful patrons drink sparkling red? I like it. Oh, it's an abomination. Adding bubbles to perfectly good Shiraz to make it sound posh. Yeah, well, posh means you can charge more, don't it? Uh, this is true. Yeah, put us down for a box. Oh, hello. <laughs> uh, grab a seat and I'll join you for lunch. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm not eating. I know I said I was coming in today, but I'm a sucker for a half-price curry. I was tucking in, felt guilty, but I wouldn't have been tempted if the van wasn't right there. What van? Where? See? It's not as aggressive as you thought. It's a proportionate response. I know, and I'm shocked. It's a warning shot. What are you playing at? Half price, I'll lose sog, Debs. It's Debbie to you. Move this van, now. Nah, I like it part here. Good view of the street. Right, I'm calling the authorities. I bet you don't have a license for this truck, do you? Eh? It's a public hazard. So is that sour look on your face. Have you got a license for that? You seem to be good at making calls, like all those fake bookings you made to us last night. I won't ask you again. Oh, go on. I love hearing you beg. <laughs> and you're going to let him get away with this, are you? Oh, after your shady antics. 100%. <laughs> right. Glad to have me back, yet? Yeah? No, I'm not saying that. Look, yes. I know that 25% of the players in the Premier League are black, but that's not enough. And the number of managers is nowhere near that. Every year, I see young, talented black youth players that don't make it. We can train them all to be potential managers one day. And, and where they count it can lead the way. Look, I'll draw some plans and I'll email them over to you. All right, cheers, bye. Everything all right? It will be soon. Sounds like it. It was nice to just go and feel the different textures. You can't do that online. I think... I think this was my favourite. <laughs> I tried to make the young lad laugh. I said, excuse me, can I get a felt here? <laughs> he didn't get the double entendre. Funny play on words. Not very appropriate in the haberdashery department. Either that or he's heard it before. So, what would be all the pleasure of this visit? Well, I just thought I'd come and say hey. Yeah. Get away from Arnie for five minutes. Uh, well, you're welcome whenever you want. We like to keep it a nice, relaxed atmosphere here. Our locals like it. Ah, oh, see you. Glad you're back. Well, I can't stop. I just came to get more food. They are loving it. Well, everyone except Debbie. Oh, you should have seen her face. It was a picture. Uh, your friend's here. You haven't told me yet how you know he then. I once tried to teach him a lesson, but he didn't listen. We worked together in a restaurant. Oh, uh, well, he, he's always been a bit stubborn when it comes to his cooking. <laughs> Your lovely grandmother's been telling me wonderful things about you. So much I never knew. She said you were working nearby, but I thought I'd stay here and surprise you. Yeah. What a lovely surprise. <laughs> I take it you're not here to buy anything. Shame, really. It's quality gear. I want answers. I don't know anything. And I don't believe you. Look, I don't know what's going on between you and Abby, but it's now to do with me. So, she's a train wreck. And you won't be the first bloke she's messed up, and I doubt you'll be the last still. <laughs> she makes up for it in other ways, eh? Hey, watch it. Can you trust me, mate? You don't need to go defending her on her. The stories I could tell you. That was then. This is now. She needs help, and I need the truth. Yeah, and I need you to leave that photo, so... I'm gonna wash you nicely, yeah? And then I'm gonna wash you in a way you don't like, you get me? Do I look like I care? You're not the only one with stories, you know? I've had my share of beatings. I've also given me fair share. You don't frighten me. 
I think you've seen her. And I want the truth, or that photo will find its way to your probation officer. Yes, mean this place is wonderful. Ah, oh, I wish you'd written our latest review in the paper. I would have given you five stars for the food. Uh, you're too kind. <laughs> Z, um, I'll rustle up some more food to take to Alia. You catch up with your friend. We certainly have a lot to talk about. Good. See you. I thought I sent you a clear message. You mean you want to be gangster sons knocking lumps out of me? That was a parting gift. I can't say I'm sorry to lose you as a son-in-law. You were never worthy. But I couldn't let you leave without making my feelings known. They delivered the message loud and clear. So now you can go. And you don't even ask how Mariam is. You should be doing far better off without me. Well, at least we can agree on that. Look, I'm busy. So should we call it a day? You gave me a beating. We're even. If the beating was for leaving my daughter, tell me what punishment is appropriate for you stealing 50,000 pounds of my money? Coronation Street continues in half an hour.